course, we're going to use the holistic approach to healthcare. We want to see if there's any structural imbalances related to that. So structural imbalances mean where does that meridian run? Where is its associated point in the spine and rib heads? We're going to get all those channels clear for the energy to run through. Also, any emotional things that could be related with that. Check the meridian related muscle to emotional reflex points and things like that. Also, we got to check nutritional. And since we're on a biochemical demonstration side here, let's just check some nutrition and see what would help with her. Now this is where I think this is really fantastic for naturopathy because there's so many different products out there for different parts of the body, how do you know what to use? So let's just see here, we c I got a couple things in my doctor's bag here we could check. Um, all right. And how we're going to do this is through oral nutrient testing. We're going to put a nutrition on the tongue, and there's oral thalamic pathways that work back and forth the central nervous system. Once the patient tastes it, it will have a change in the body. This is how nitroglycerin works for angina. They crack open the, the pill in their mouth, and they taste it, and it relaxes the heart muscle. Let's just recheck, make sure it's still weak. Hold there, push out. All right, so. You ready for a taste test? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, this is a little one. Okay. Should you tilt your head back a little bit and stick your tongue out? Now, just kind of move that around in your mouth, but keep it on your tongue. Let's see what happens. Can you taste it? Mm -hmm. Taste yummy? Um, CBD. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So push out here. Push, 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 push. So for that one, the kelp, her body says, no, not really. I mean, it could help with some symptoms and stuff, but for what she really needs, it's just not the key. So let's see. Let's try a L-tyrosine. This is just a thorn research one. Okay, open your mouth, tilt your head back. All right, just kind of taste that, move that around a little bit. Don't swallow it, though, just keep it there. Taste it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Push out. Push, 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 push. Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't, that's not what she wants either. And you see, other people in the room, kelp might work fine. Tyrosine might work fine. Just her, because we're all different biochemically, we got to see what she needs. Let's see. Let's try protomorphogen. Let's see. Just take that. Now move it around just kind of um, until you taste it, to you kind of wear the coating off of that a little bit. <coughs> push out strong. Nope, not that one Bless either. Bless you. Ooh. Taste it? Oh okay. Yeah. Hi, Diney. All right, let's see. Hold that down. Can I push out? I'm going to push in. <laughs> push, 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 push. Good. All right, that made her strong. Now let's look at everything else here. <laughs> nope, hold that there. Don't go anywhere. Lay on your side facing the class here. Let's check everything else to make sure the iodine is going to bring up everything else nutritionally, too. Bend your legs here. Hold that up. Okay. Push up in the sky. I'm going to push down. That's good for the reproductive, too. Why would that work for reproductive? Well, in Chinese medicine, it's all fire. But still, thyroid function regulates progesterone function, right? As a basic rule with the endocrine system, Things higher affect what's lower. So always kind of work higher, like pituitary thyroid for lower things, like even adrenals, blood sugar, reproductive, stuff like that. All right, let's see. Laying your back, let's check some of the digestive things. Okay. Hands at your sides, please. Push up and out. I'm going to push down to this foot. Push up and out. So this is also going to help colon function. Tastes good? Oh, yeah. Push up strong. <laughs> Small intestine function. And let's go to that shoulder here that you're complaining about. Push in. I'm going to push out. That's strong as a rock now. It's amazing. <laughs> so if you think about it, she has teres minor, 
which is a rotator cuff in her shoulder not working right. And also she had the pec clavicular, which is not working right. So this could be the whole cause of her shoulder problem. Did you injure the shoulder? Um, just computer and... No, it's repetitive injury. <laughs> eh. It's probably an internal thing with her. It's probably because of her thyroid why her shoulder's hurting. So you see, this is really looking at the patient in a holistic type of view. Okay. Um, now, what I would recommend is you need that. That's, that's, I could tell you afterwards what that is. I don't want to seem like I'm telling people to buy certain products here or whatever. But if you want to, chew that up and drink it with water. If you chew your nutritional tablets and stuff, it works much better. Because when you, see, when your body tastes it, it reacts right away. So if you chew it, you get an instant nervous system response for this, what it's supposed to do in your body. Thank you for coming on up. Thank you. Take your water here. Thank you. All right.